What's poppin' my people? What's poppin', what's poppin'? Hi guys, it's your boy Paul Kada back again with another banging video. Today guys, I'm gonna be talking about all the things that we should avoid to improve our lives. When I say avoid, I just mean essentially either decrease the amount of time you spend doing these things or try to completely eliminate them. I'm not saying like you have to completely eliminate. Some people have to use these things um, for like work or business or like emergencies or families. But all these things I mentioned are going to be things that you could reduce to improve your life. Just be more productive and to not procrastinate. Yeah. So all these things I will mention are just things that can keep you more busy in, in, in areas that can develop good habits. So the first thing on my list is um, your phone. So obviously we, we are all we are all victims. We are all victims of our phones. And this is primarily because 90% of the time is in like in your in your reach, it's in your sight. It's like there's so many things you can do on your phone. You could play games on your phone, you could focus on um, some work, a spreadsheet you could literally like go on youtube and watch some videos you could so like connect with your friends message them social media scroll through instagram or tiktok to watch videos that could keep you entertained our, our phones are like almost part of us there's a strong connection that a lot of people have with their phones and i'm definitely a partaker of that but it's it's mainly because it's so easy to access it's like anything that's easy to access is usually something we can like develop a quick or easy habit i'll just mention the specific things that so obviously our phones are definitely i think the best way to prevent us from using our phones as as much as we do is either like in the morning when you know that you have like a lot of work to do just leave your phone in in another room in the room where you're trying to be productive just like eliminate all distractions from from that room but yeah just leave leave your phone like subconsciously knowing that your phone or give give your phone to like a friend or like a relative to or like a work colleague let them hold your phone for until you like for several hours until maybe lunch time and then yeah now you can use your phone connect with people socialize etc try to limit your phone so this the first thing on my list is your phone your phone is definitely something that can ruin your life it can also make your life better but only if you use the time wisely so the next thing on my list is the computer this one's probably more specific to me because not many people use it depends but i would say it's 50 50 but not many people use computers or laptops i've definitely been able to manage the amount of time i've spent on my computer as opposed to before where i used to just be glued on it like 24 7 playing games or like just doing bullshit, watching videos same thing as my phone pretty much to be fair if you're socializing with friends it's not as bad it's when you're like spending way too much time or like when you're just doing it by yourself and then also wasting too much time as well so it's like you're on your computer doing absolutely nothing all by yourself and it's like you're accumulating a bad habit there's literally no benefit to doing this for a long period of time so it just makes your life worse in the long term it's like anything you do now will affect your future self so the more time you waste the less time you have later on to do the things that you actually need to do so just keep that in mind but for me my computer was definitely one thing that i had to reduce i, I wouldn't even say i need to eliminate my computer completely but a good example of ways to cut down or to to limit the amount of time you spend on your computer or like uh, games take away games because i'm gonna get onto that one next you could unplug your computer and keep it in a closet that way it's like takes effort like put it back on so it's like you've literally you forced yourself in a position where that you're only gonna get your computer when you genuinely like want to go on your computer because it and secondly it's out of sight as well so you don't think about it once again out of sight out of mind there's truth behind that phrase 
out of sight, out of mind. If you don't see something, you're less likely to do it or to, to use it. So computer was the next thing on my list. The next one on my list was gaming. Gaming is something that everyone does at every stage of their life. Not everyone, most majority of people do play games. So games can be a, quite an addiction. I would say if, unless it's something that's work really, if, if like you're playing a game and you're making money out of it, like let's say for example, you're a streamer for like YouTube or Twitch, then by all means play eight hours, eight to 12 hours of games every day because you're making money doing it. At that point it's work, it's not even, you're not even seeking pleasure doing it. You're literally working. But for the people that aren't like, playing games to work and stuff like that. Limit it, limit your time. Most people that play games say, oh, I only play one hour of games a day. And we all know that's lies. You play like four to eight hours of games every single day. And if not worse, you play more than that. And it's just like frowned upon because that time you can never give it back or get it back. I used to play so much games. I've probably spent 10,000 hours playing games and I have nothing to show for it which is sad and it's like well I at this specific point there's no game that can I can prove like as an achievement in my life or be proud of to show people like oh guess what I got this out of this game nah that's that's not something that I could be fulfilled about personally anyway some people have made a lot of success through games I on the other hand have not so I can attest that games are definitely my downfall and a lot of people can agree to this. A lot of people probably hate me for speaking about this because they're like, oh, you're still young. You shouldn't worry about stuff like that. You got a lot of time on your hands. Those are the people that time hits them and then they realize, oh snap, I wish I listened to this. I wish I listened to that. I wish I spent less time playing this and stuff and so and so forth so games games are definitely an addiction that should be once again an example of a way to decrease the amount of time you spend playing games disconnect it from the plug put it in a closet out of sight out of mind that's probably the best way to tackle that like that scenario of playing too much games just disconnect it from the plug put it in a closet or like if you want to go hardcore sell the game i'm joking don't do that i think you have more discipline when you know you've actually got the thing but you're not using it because you know that you're you're trying to spend your time or, uh, productively or wisely i think that's the best discipline a uh, bad discipline is when you sell something and then you go buy it again because you really want to play that thing that's bad discipline and also a waste of money so the next thing on my list was masturbation and watching porn these two things, a lot of people discreetly consume themselves in these type of things for no reason. And it's mainly because they've made it a habit. I used to be prone to this. I've stopped watching porn for like several years now. That, that's something way beneath me. I will never go back to that, that zombie experience. Like that's literally, you're literally living a zombie life, like a caveman life um, for all the people that do still do it don't worry i'm not judging you because i've been through something like that and i know a lot of people will go through that especially in their childhood years and some people even when they're adults they still go through it and i understand that i appreciate that you guys especially the people that are honest enough to like admit that yeah they they still do it because some people they deny it but then they go home and still like bro come on g come on bro even girls as well come on there's no point there's literally no point of doing that whacking your meat and the amount of hindrances the amount of effects that can be caused from consuming that type of content it affects your your relationships it affects your friendships it affects literally everything around you your perception in life everything is affected when you watch stuff like that so i think that one logically everyone should know that that's just something that's not good for your your body your soul your spiritual your physical it's not good for you in any way shape or form the best way to tackle this is for me personally i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna encourage you guys to to go find like a nice sweet girl or a nice sweet man to to do this with but if you're trying to avoid something as low life as like watching porn and masturbating 
then I would encourage you guys to go find a sweet one to do that with. If you're too young, focus on just like either finding like an, a blocker for those websites, like try to just block or try to keep yourself productive. Wear yourself out at night. Try to just like go gym, exercise, be more productive and actually get into bed tired. Once again, if you're going to bed, try to leave your phone in another room, charge your phone in another room. If you're, if you're using the excuse, oh, but I need my alarm, then sleep earlier. Alarm, waking up to an alarm is, that is toxic. That's very toxic because you're waking up to something else waking you up. Uh, so once again, you're affecting your sleep and your sleep literally, it carves your whole day. Uh, if you get good sleep, your your whole day could potentially be good. If you get bad sleep, you've automatically put yourself in a position where you're going to have a bad day because you, you don't have enough energy. You're going to be lazy. You're going to be tired. It's a cycle. And a lot of us force ourselves into this loop. And I've been through there. I, I'm speaking from experience. But um, yeah, stop watching porn, guys. Just stop masturbating as well do your own research but you could use the examples i gave you guys as well uh, the next thing on my list is drugs guys stop taking drugs drugs aren't good for anyone the the issue with drugs is that once you start taking them you especially if you've been through a lot in life you tend to like start depriving yourself of like natural remedies so like meditation eating healthy going to the gym and exercising you start substituting all those bad like all those good things with the drugs rather than like a way to clear your mind clear your conscience but really it's like if you get a bill taking the drugs is not going to make the bill go away essentially so you're still going to stress after you've you've like gone through your high or whatever taking drugs is it's, it's a long-term cycle of death and literally i would not encourage anyone to take drugs no matter what drug it is, even if it's the, the lowest level of drugs or the highest level, don't don't take drugs, guys. There's, there's literally no point. And all, all that's going to happen is it's going to get you addicted. You're going to waste time and you're also going to waste a lot of money as well. And you're going to force yourself into circles that don't necessarily benefit your life. You're going to push away a lot of qualities in your life. It's going to force you to stop doing stuff that that could improve your life quality as well and um, a lot of people uh, tend to do a lot of stupid things as well when they're high or like under the influence of drugs so the last thing i would encourage anyone to do is take drugs and i'm once again speaking from experience uh, the next thing i'm speaking about is uh, junk food so foods that stimulate us all these things on my list are things that you should either reduce if you're doing a lot of it already or completely eliminate or just don't even start doing these things because if you haven't started then that's good because prevention is better than cure so junk food where we all know junk food is not good for us but we all just love the taste of junk food so we don't really care about the the long-term effects of eating like fatty foods sugary drinks and foods as well we we all know then they're, they're gonna affect our health it's not good for our skin once again this is this is something that if you're someone that eats healthy on a regular but when you go when you go out with your friends obviously that's when you you choose to eat your junk food that's absolutely fine because i'm not saying stop eating junk food i'm just saying completely eliminate it to the point where it's not over consuming you some people they eat junk food when they feel sad and a lot of things in a day can make you feel sad so they over consume themselves and then it becomes a habit so now every single time they feel sad they eat junk food it's the same same applies for drugs same applies for computer games same applies for being on your phone any like literally most of the time our emotions tend to draw us towards things that we're addicted to but also these things are so easy to to just it's so easy to just go in your fridge grab junk food that you bought from the other day let's say you're someone that spends a lot of money on junk food it's so easy to just go in your cupboard or to just open a packet in your room 
of like crisps and just start chucking away it's it's too easy to do that it's so easy to just go on your phone to it's just so easy to turn on your computer uh, it's easy to to play a game it's easy to to just take a drug it's so easy to just consume like porn it's so easy to masturbate it's easy to do things that are pleasurable because the motivation to do those things is very high as opposed to to doing things that aren't as gratifying so like drinking water it's not as easy to do that because you're not motivated to do it if you are someone that drinks a lot of sh like sugary drink it's not easy to drink water because all you you're used to just drinking something that's sweet but for someone that drinks water all the time it's not easy for them to just drink a sugary drink but when they do drink that sugary drink because of the pleasure they gain from drinking that sugary drink they're more inclined to drink the sugary drink again as opposed to the water even though all they've been drinking is water so it is very difficult to reduce uh, things that are bad for you or to like decrease things that increase our dopamine within that instance of seeing it i hope that's not flying i know i've been using a lot of big terms so i hope a lot of you guys understand i'm trying to obviously make this heavily relatable to everyone but some of you guys might not know what some of the words i'm saying hopefully you do but yeah junk food eliminate that junk drinks just try to cut that down to a minimum if you're going to socialize then you could do it um a, a good way to do this would be what well, one just stop buying junk food and instead just buy the alternative that could be better or healthier buy more fruits keep it around you like if you have fruits try to like leave it in your room or if you have a lot of water bottles keep them like surrounded in your room that way when you when you're thirsty you just you're just like oh okay there's water there let me just take it um a lot of people are addicted to coffee and tea or like to be fair tea is not as bad Co coffee ain't that bad as well but some people are like literally addicted to it and it's because they add so much sugar and then they put milk cow, uh, cow's milk in it as well or some people even use evaporated milk and even worse some people use condensed milk oh my god god that's like the worst thing you can drink <laughs> condensed milk and tea and especially if you're addicted to it there's so many health issues that that could detriment your life by over consuming stuff like this uh, you've got to think coffee essentially gives you energy for a, a small amount then it dips down and takes away from your energy uh, tea tea is not as bad but then some people put a lot of like sugar in it and then they put milk as well try to just reduce these things not eliminate you don't necessarily need to eliminate these things completely alternatives would be green tea so try drinking green tea uh, don't use honey instead of sugar in your teas and try try not to use milk if you're going to use milk drink like oat milk a lot of people don't really like almond milk which i understand soya milk is nice as well but for me personally i prefer um, oat milk because it just tastes tastes like actual milk so semi-skimmed milk which i'm used to well was used to so um reduce reduce the coffee and tea guys and i think that pretty much sums up my list because i know these are things that everyone does every single day and if it's not everyone it's majority of people so we all tend to go on our phones we all tend to play games we all tend to go on our computer most of us some of us play uh watch porn hopefully not anymore after watching this video some of us take drugs hopefully we can reduce these things some of us eat a lot of junk food every day hopefully we can reduce or eliminate uh, and then the coffee and tea hopefully we can reduce or eliminate these things as well so it's been your boy paul kadar hope you've gained some value from watching this video i know a lot of people have clicked away and that's absolutely fine because hopefully the people that did click away are perfect human beings and they don't do anything wrong in their life they're just perfect it's been your boy paul kadar we out